And before I get the crazy glue on here and go all willy-nilly on this, I want to take my piece and just make sure it's going to fit right. And if it doesn't, I can look at it. I might have to file something off, shave something off, or whatever. But this one fits nice. It, it broke off nice and clean, and that's what I like to see. You see any little voids, you can take your little felt tip pen and do your same little trick. This is a lighter wood, so if you do put some on, you want to make sure you wipe it off really super quick. And sometimes nowadays they have brown felt tip pens too. Did you know that? You go to the store, you can get some brown felt tip pins. And that might work for you too on some of your furniture. Okay, so I'm holding that up. I want to kind of have a game plan on how this is going to fit, how I'm going to get it up here. Because when you're working with crazy glue, that stuff could get everywhere. And the thing that I do when I, when I do stuff like this, I want to use crazy glue gel. And that's what I've got. I've got the gel stuff. And that doesn't go over like water, you know. It kind of comes out like gel. And it works a lot better, okay. So, looking at that, it looks pretty good there. I think I'm ready to put the crazy glue on. What I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to take it over on the counter. And I'm going to put a little glue on here instead of dabbing it here. If you dab it right there, you got to make sure you want to put a towel here. I've got a, I've got a little bit of masking tape kind of up here in case it drips off, but I think I'm going to coat this here and then come over here. Because see, I've, I've got to make sure I do this right. I want to get it on there pretty close the first time. I'm going to kind of do this a couple, a couple times, mimicking my ability to get that on there nice and straight. I just have to do the best I can. Might dab a little bit here and a little bit here. I'll see. You know. I want to try to do it so I don't get it too close to the edges so that it kind of comes out. If you have any that comes out, especially like on this gel, you don't want to wipe it off. You just kind of let it set until it gets hard, then you can kind of take a little screwdriver, flat screwdriver, razor blade, whatever, and kind of pick it off. You know, last thing you want to do is rub it, then you're going to get it over the stain into the wood grains and that sort of stuff, okay? All right, let's do it. Now this says crazy glue on it, but I looked on there and it is the actual gel formula and if you're not using a brand new one of these you want to double check it first I got some paper towel down and in fact before I get going I think I want to fold this in half sometimes you think you're covered you get it on paper towel even a news newspaper or magazine and then the paper towel something like that because it'll soak right through and it could get on your countertop we don't want that do we Okay. Kind of tricky with a little piece like this. And I've looked at it and it's coming out okay. Alright. So now I can just put it on there. I want to see how it flows. Because I'm going to decide whether or not I want to put any on the other side of my patch and I don't think I'm going to lots of times it'll tell you just put it on one surface okay there's a thing called too much it's not necessarily a good thing but it's got nooks and crannies in it so you still got to kind of get it on there to a certain extent, I'd say. All right, I don't want to overdo it. Let's get back on our project. 
Let's see how this is going to work. Have to walk back over there. See how good I can I can slide this on there. Ooh. I got it right on there, just about right. I see one little glisten here. Got to be careful here. That looks pretty good. What I like to do is I'll, I'll just kind of hold it on there. And you want to get the pressure in the right spot. You do it in the wrong spot and you might be off cattywampus or something. You know, that's the last thing we want. So I'll just count up to a hundred, nice and slow, and making sure that I've got pressure on there and it looks fine and it's not slid out of place. I'm probably good right there. I hesitate to, to uh, put masking tape on it. Sometimes you can put masking tape on something you think, oh, I'll just tape it on there and I won't have to worry about it. You come back later and some of the crazy glue has stuck on the masking tape or it had slid and you you didn't see that because when you put the masking tape on you thought it was all nice and straight and it was slightly off or a couple seconds after you thought you had the masking tape on there fine it pushed off ever so slightly and you waited 15 20 minutes you pulled the masking tape off and it was slightly off and you're like oh you don't get another chance at it either Sometimes you try to pull it off, you might make it worse. Not, maybe it doesn't break off in the exact same spot, you know? Okay, so just hold it on there. Keep your pressure down, uh, count up to 100 or until you think your finger's gonna fall off and then let go. That looks fine now. I count it to a hundred, everything looks fine. There's no glue excess anywhere. And I'm gonna let that set for a while. Now at this point, if you wanna put masking tape on there, you could, just to kinda of hold it in place, now that I know it's in place and it's nicely dried. Do you know what I mean? You just don't wanna put this masking tape on too soon, okay? I think I'm gonna let that set some more just like that. I should be fine without the masking tape at this point, but if you feel like you need to put it on, put it on now. Just don't put it on too soon afterwards. Make sure everything's all nice and it looks 100%. Then do it. And all the people said, ooh.